scientist is about sometimes letting things blow up. The Brain Initiative will give scientists the tools they need to get a dynamic picture of the brain in action and better understand how we think and how we learn and how we remember. President Obama just tasked you with mapping the human brain, which is mind-blowing to me. What does that entail? The thing that's really both fascinating and daunting about it is that there is no one brain. Your brain is not the same as my brain, and my brain is not doing the same thing in 10 minutes as it was doing in the past. If we can come up with a plan to map the brain, and then I can be part of that process, that will be a that will be enough for me. Good luck. I, I can't wait to see my brain map someday. Thank you. I'll, I'll send it to you as soon as we have it. What about the Liberty Science Center makes you excited um, as a scientist? It brings science to life, that there are things that you can do and watch and interact with. You know, there was this girl in Florida about a month ago named Kara Wilmot, who put aluminum foil into Drano at her school, and it blew up, and she was immediately suspended and charged with two felonies. And, you know, being a scientist is about sometimes letting things blow up. Right, she was just, you know, it was her scientific creativity. Exactly. After this happened, there were petitions signed by something like 160,000 scientists saying, do not blame this little girl for what happened. All of us did things that were equally stupid when we were young. When I was in the eighth grade, my little eighth grade friends and I stole all the sodium from the Earth Science Lab and um, flushed it down the toilet, which we blew off the wall, it exploded. The reason we did this is that we heard a class and our, and our Earth Science teacher told us that there were metals that would actually burn in water and we were just fascinated by that possibility. And some of it was just, you know, you know, playing games, but a lot of it is real discovery and understanding how the real world works and interacting with the real world while you do that. But, okay, for our second Genius Award, I would like to welcome back to the stage Bob Hariri, our corporate co-chair of the evening, and a man who doesn't need so much of an introduction, James Watson, one of the most famous living scientists who exactly 60 years ago discovered the double helical structure of DNA. And if you guys could come to the stage, I'd appreciate it. You're the man. Oh, I just said, okay. And to present our next uh, Genius Award, I'd like to uh, Dr. Bob Harari to return to the podium. He's and, here. <laughs> yes. and, and joining him will be one of the greatest scientists of all time. Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. That's me. Uh, <laughs> sorry. There you are. Yeah, bad. Okay. <laughs> Awful. Uh, the last frontier in human physiology is understanding the human brain. I know from personal experience, I have a mentally ill son who cannot take care of himself. So it's, uh, work on the brain can't go fast enough. But I think we should be uh, realistic and realize that the brain is very complicated and that uh, you really need exceptional people uh, to move forward in big ways. Uh, uh, that's a good description of uh, Corey Bargman and the brain mapping project she leads. Uh, we hope it will unlock the sequence of extreme mental disorders. Uh, I want to say it's not in the script, but I led the Human Genome Project for four years. Uh, I don't think it's a good Corey won't do a good job unless she has some enemies. Uh, you just can't please everyone when you've got a limited amount of money and you've got a difficult thing. So you've just got to say, no dumb people around, okay? 
<laughs> you know, so it'll piss off some people, okay? <laughs> and they may get you fired, but at least, you know, at least you have started something in the right way. And uh, uh, I led the project for four years. Uh, I hope Corey doesn't suffer my fate. I put on about 20 pounds uh, <laughs> because uh, uh, I had two jobs, and I think Corey wants two jobs. She's not giving up what she's doing. So, uh, and uh, I guess I should say I, I, I'm known as someone who actually means that uh, some men are really very bright, <laughs> but some women also are. <laughs> so in that tone, uh, let's have Corey come up here. <laughs> <laughs> So first of all, thank you very much. It's a great honor to receive this recognition. It's also a great honor to be recognized by Dr. Watson and introduced by him. Hundreds of years from now, when no one remembers who Brad Pitt was, and no one remembers who Saddam Hussein was, they will still remember who Watson and Crick were and the discoveries they made about the structure of DNA. Scientific discovery transcends time and culture. It is one of the truly universal human achievements. This universal achievement is possible because of the human brain. We are the only animals with science, with the rational ability to dissect the world and the communication ability to share our discoveries so that we build knowledge together. Our greatest scientific challenge is the quest to understand ourselves and our brains. The human brain is dazzlingly complex. There are more neurons in your brain than there are human beings on the planet. There are more connections or synapses in your brain than there are stars in the Milky Way. Understanding the brain is our space exploration program for inner space. For scientists to solve the brain will take all of our scientific skills built up in many fields. Genetics, neuroscience, and psychology will all provide insights and so will mathematics, engineering, computer science, and physics. But what understanding the brain will really require is our curiosity, intuition, imagination, and critical thought. These habits of inquiry are at the heart of science, and they are learned over many years of arduous training. These are the qualities that the Liberty Science Center encourages throughout our communities, and especially in young people, strengthening the curiosity, imagination, and openness to new ideas that are essential for the scientific venture. Thank you all for being part of that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.